Yeah, Good afternoon. At about 3.43pm yesterday afternoon, a truck driven by a 60-year-old Queensland man <clears throat> descended the southeastern freeway. When it got to the bottom of the freeway at crossroads, it went through the intersection, collided with seven cars and a bus, and miraculously, nobody was seriously injured. I would like to thank all the emergency services that attended the scene. It was a significant scene. It was very complex. There was a number of entrapments there. I would also like to remind drivers that are descending the freeway in a heavy vehicle that from Crafers to the bottom of the freeway, there is a 60 kilometre speed limit. That's done for the safety of people at the bottom of the freeway. That location over the years has unfortunately had some um, unfortunate consequences as a result of people being seriously injured or killed. So I'd remind truck drivers to select the right gear, make sure you're descending the freeway at no greater than 60 kilometres hours from the Crafers exit point, uh, and please just be responsible. It's absolutely miraculous that nobody was seriously injured or killed in that collision. Um, particularly if you look at the scene, uh, it's just, it is, it's a miracle. Is there any indications yet to allude to how this happened? Is it a brake failure, human error? Look, we're doing a thorough investigation, as you can imagine, into this matter. We haven't been able to speak to everybody that we would like to at this point in time, and it's likely that there'll be a further announcement reasonably soon in re relation to the outcome of yesterday's event. The driver remains in hospital in a not serious condition. Is there likely to be charges laid as a result of this accident? Well, it's a matter of what the investigation shows us, but it's, that's one possibility, yes. Are you investigating driver error? We're investigating all facets of the incident. How long uh, were they crashed there for last night? Oh, they were there for a number of hours. As you obviously saw, it was a very complex scene. Uh, as I said, there was a number of entrapments there. We had to remove people from vehicles and then convey them for medical treatment. It's obviously not the first time that accidents happened on this freeway. How difficult is it for police to continuously be called out to this particular location? Look, we don't like being called out to any location where people are injured or lose their lives. Um, unfortunately, um, it is a location historically where there has been bad outcomes. Um, and we're just very fortunate that we got what we had yesterday. In terms of the, the construct of the intersection, that's not a matter for SAPOL, but SAPOL certainly are interested in anything that can improve any road safety outcome. In terms of, of an investigation of this accident, how long will that take? Uh, that just depends on when we can access all the people that we need to speak to. Is the driver cooperating with police, or police have a chance to speak to the driver? No, we haven't spoken to the driver at this stage. Um, can you talk us through some of the other victims involved in this crash? Are they still in hospital? Have they since been released? I'm, I'm unaware of the nine. Uh, my um, briefing is that they, they were very minor injuries generally, and so we're very fortunate again. How many, if you just talk us through, I know you said it's a complex um, operation yesterday with emergency services. If you just talk us through that a little bit more and how difficult it was to, to get those people out. Well, you, <clears throat> you've got a large incident involving a truck and uh, eight other vehicles. You've got people trapped in vehicles that we need to move out. You've got a truck that's rolled and is on top of vehicles. Uh, so it's a very complex scene to be able to make sure that people are getting the medical attention that they need. We can get them out of the vehicles and that we can get them to hospital so they can be treated. Major crash obviously typically attend fatalities. Um, why was it that it was so important to have major crash assessed this accident? I, I sent major crash to the accident because it was such a complex scene involving uh, so many moving pieces. So they are best skilled to be able to navigate that and uh, provide advice. There's been some suggestion that um, witnesses saw smoke coming from the truck. Is that information that police have received as well? That's correct. I have seen that and we are aware of that and that will form part of our investigation. You know, I have no idea what we're notified of. Last question for everyone. Are there any, like, what are the implications for someone that doesn't descend at 60 at the 
bottom of that freeway. Well, you saw what the implications could have been yesterday. I mean, people can lose their lives or people can get seriously injured. And the penalties for those offences are very, very significant. Has Safe Hole been able to work out a speech with the, the company that owns the truck or manages <coughs> the truck? That's part of our ongoing investigation. So has Safe Hole been able to speak with the company? Uh, not that I'm aware of at this point. Is there any message, I guess, to truck drivers on that road? Well, the, the road's well signposted. It's 60 kilometres an hour from the Crafers exit. Um, I'd ask them to use a low gear to think about the consequences of getting to the bottom of the freeway and not being able to stop. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.